Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a massive haul, effectively showing everything I bought over the month of January. Now, I don't really have that much on my wish list for the rest of the year, and most of the purchases I actually did over the end of year and the first couple of days of January when we had that break. But because it was the Christmas and New Year period, a lot of deliveries were very, very, very slow. Actually, I'm even expecting maybe a couple items would randomly show up in February because, you know, shipping has been a bit unpredictable. But I thought to show you what are the small things I thought of replenishing, things that I just uh, have been waiting for a long time to get, and one heirloom piece that I just decided I'm going to have it for the next few decades. So it was, it just felt right for me to get. I don't expect to have a massive haul for February. It would probably be a spillover of the January purchases and I did not buy anything after Jan 2nd. So everything you'll see was actually done over a, a condensed period of time where I was at home assessing everything that I had, going over all my wish lists from the past few years, my wish list on Instagram, everything, and then just making it happen. The reason I'm not going to be buying as much over the rest of the year is twofold. One is because I'm very happy with the things that I've gotten. Uh, I'm very happy with pretty much everything I've been buying uh, over the last three or four years. So I have reached that stability. The only thing I might end up buying would be shoes because I have been uh, going through my uh, physician you know physiotherapy all that stuff I still have to go to see a podiatrist so it might be that I'm mandated to buy a specific type of shoes the second reason is related to what I just mentioned which is my medical expenses over the past few months I have been investing heavily in my health it is quite expensive I know a lot of people uh, uh, think of the UK as having free health care now, uh, the National Health Service uh, called NHS is normally free. Um, I, as an expat, actually have to pay something called an NHS surcharge, which is every year I pay a few hundred dollars, a few hundred pounds to the UK government because they assume I'd be using the NHS and putting a burden on it. So I pay that. But I don't go through the NHS because the waiting lists can be months if not years some people have had their teeth falling off uh, for not being able to get an appointment so um, i have seen how it functions and i decided that especially when it comes to things that are as complicated as my uh, musculoskeletal situation i'd rather actually um, use my, my my money for that rather than wait for a few years uh, or several months between each stage so it has been quite expensive. Uh, I have been earning the money, so it's it's still manageable. I, I have to face a few things every now and then, but I'm glad that I'm doing it. Now, all of the all of the big things are behind me. So I've done the ultrasounds, I've done the MRIs, um, uh, all the multiple visits, the first two courses of, of, of physiotherapy. So now what I have are things that are more at my discretion. So uh, uh, podiatry, um, uh, some additional physio, a few injections, um, but I, these I can space out. And so I just decided that for the rest of the year, I will be investing in that rather than acquiring a few things. Hence uh, why you will probably not see as many holes. I think the only thing I might buy would be uh, a watch and maybe a piece of jewelry as an investment but for that I will need to assess what my financial situation is because I need to see how much medical things are costing me so as my last month of free spending here is everything I got for January first thing is um, these salts from West Lab uh, these are bath salts for recovery because I am on a journey to regain my mobility, fix my hip, my knee, my ankle, you know, the whole thing. And so I will be working out and I will be doing all my exercises, but this comes at a very, very expensive price because I always end up feeling very sore. So I just decided to preempt it by already having the bath salts. 
Um, these are the Caudalie uh, lip conditioners. You know I love this lip balm, so I always have it in backup. And these three things are actually scrunchies. So my go-to hairstyle for 2022 is just these very simple lazy twists. I do them whenever I feel like it. I, they don't have to be perfect or whatever. It just helps me keep my hair out of my face. But I usually only have like a black ponytail holder. So I just thought I'll have something nicer to use. So I'll just pop you here while I do the unboxing. So these are by Claire Haggas and she's an artist who paints things that are inspired by the countryside and then she makes her paintings into scarves etc. I decided to just get uh, these scrunchies. So I have this one. This is the shortest one and actually this is a silk scrunchie but you can take this little bit and make it into a small twilly. Um, this one I will wear as is so that's the first one and it has these little birds this is like a, I don't know what this would be called but it's a bird that just caught a fish but yeah so that's the first one mm, these are the care instructions the second one is a longer version and it is in a gold color so that's what it looks like. I feel that this color would look really great on on me because I do look good in gold colors, chartreuse and all these kind of things because I have a very strong yellow undertone. And this one has a pheasant. Um, on these medium sized ones, this thing, this tail can actually, you can remove it. Actually, you can also remove it on this one. You can remove it and it becomes a headband. So I also want to be able to use this as a twilly. So that's what I intend on doing. Either I wear this um, like that when, when I want to have a ponytail or I can also wear this as a headband. And then the third and last item from Claire Haggas is another scrunchie. And it's also the medium size and this is in this rust color and this one simply has feathers so these are just feathers and feathers and feathers and again a color that I would really love in a headband and also as a scrunchie this scrunchie is a bit bigger like the medium size ones are bigger this one I got it because I think it would look nice uh, with my everyday um, white shirts because I wear shirts every all the time. So I'm going to already wear this today. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see because I have no idea but you know you get the this like this and then the little tail. And if I decide to wear this as a a bun topper I would have a bun up and then you can actually see this more let me change that so that I can show you quickly I did a messy bun and this is what it looks like I love it I've been wanting to have this for so long and this is going to be my signature look for 2021 so you have seen I have seen my signature makeup it's the thing that I had filmed a few days ago um, obviously my, my uh, lipstick is all completely gone, but that's life. But I will have one of these every day and I just love them, love them, love them. I waited uh, for a while to actually get these, but uh, yeah, I've known about this artist for a couple of years now. Um, and it's not that I'm cheap because the thing is I am an artist too, although I have stopped painting and I understand the importance of paying uh, for the artist because it's not about the product itself it's about the artistic process I mean she has these big easels she takes a long time to paint these things etc etc so I wanted to pay a fair price for her work but it just that for a while uh, it wasn't in my budget because I was buying other clothes etc etc but now since I'm no longer buying clothes it just felt really like the time and she had a sale and I felt that although the price was still a little bit steep for me it was time for me to get it especially I'm going to wear this every single day you guys know how when I like something which is the case for I would say 99% of what I buy I wear it to death so this 
I mean, it's probably at least, at least four days a week, unless I get bored and then I uh, choose the other colors. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. And then the last item I wanted to show is actually this dress by Susanna. Again, I'm very, very, sorry about the sound. I'm very, um, uh, I wouldn't say traditional, but I'm very predictable in what I like. I like the dresses from Susanna. This is again uh, a designer. I really love the work that she does. This is just a dust bag. And actually, you know what? I think dust bags are important because I have another thing from Susanna that I had just kept. One second. Sorry for startling you, but that is life at my household. It's always like that. I'm talking or working and then somebody rings. Um, so I was saying that having these things is very important because I had a piece from Susanna that I bought a few years ago. And because I don't have much space, I had it stored, um, you know, just in my room. And because of the sun, it had some discoloration on the shoulders. So now I'm going to have to find a way to dye the silk black again. But anyway, back to this piece. So, like I said, I love the work of Susanna because her dresses are very, very classic, very ladylike. She does some very, um, you know, uh, period um, uh, silhouettes. This is a 1950s inspired dress. It is in the print Toile de Jouy. Very thick, nice cotton. All her dresses are usually perfectly made. You know, like the draping, the quality, very nice. Um, I expect it to be lined up front. Yes, it is lined in the top so that it's not see-through where it, you know, up there. And then I, I wanted this dress since she introduced it, I think, uh, I think it was uh, 18 months ago, but uh, it, was, it's, it's, it was quite a steep price point, so I waited until it went on sale, and then I eventually bought it. And this is a very, very elegant dress for summer events. So if I were to go to something like um, for the English social season, that's something that I would wear um, and obviously because it's England the summer is never as hot as you would hope so the fact that it's lined the fact that it's a relatively thick fabric is quite nice so very happy with that then as we were speaking I got one more parcel that's the guy who just rang it's my postman and it's also from look fantastic because apparently I didn't get my order in the right uh, in, in the same um, delivery so they delivered it in two things this is Ico and this is just a mascara trio so the thing is I don't really buy uh, spend money on mascaras because I don't really need a specific one so I usually get whatever cheapest mascara I can find when I have to buy it because usually I get them as gift now the mascara that I got as gift from my friend's mom is running low so I saw that this mascara trio which was something that they did for Christmas was on sale and it's mini mascaras so I decided to get it because the thing is because I don't use mascara often um, I never use it fully it just dries out so I figured if I have the small ones I can actually use them and then you know not have to 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 chase this so I think it, it came down to a couple pounds each with the sale so maybe two or three pounds each which is the same price as buying a mascara from essence so essence is like three pounds but this one is a very good brand i just made sure that uh you know i don't pay full price for it so this was already a christmas collection which means that it's not full price and it was discounted so yeah so i'm just going to keep that mm. and yeah and this is this is it quite a big mess I'm going to have to recycle all of that stuff but oh my god I'm very happy I keep touching this sorry I'm just I'm, I'm so happy with it it's so cute so 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 cute I actually I might actually take a picture with that and post it on Instagram oh yeah I love it oh I really love it um what was I saying sorry I get distracted this is life with ADHD um yeah so I was saying 2022 I started with a lot of these purchases, as you see, all of them discounted. I have a few more things that I ordered 
but uh, they will be coming in over the next few weeks in February etc so I'm not buying anything actively anymore uh, it's going to be the case for the next 11 months which is quite exciting but I did buy things that take more time to come because they are discounted and you know you get the cheapest service possible so uh, and I usually I contact the sellers and say I don't mind if it comes late so the things that I'm that I have come in my way are one is very exciting it's a jewelry box because you know I have been very into jewelry um, if you've been following my channel for a while it's been a, a couple years that I've said I've been craving jewelry and I recently started buying jewelry unfortunately mostly when when I have very tough events happening at work but I decided that for 2022 whatever comes my way I won't let it get to me I don't mind that something is is actually um, on sale this I got probably for 60 or 70 off percent of the actual value of the product it's still the same mascara it's still going to perform the same way so I'm not buying full price the dress from Susanna that, I, that I've been waiting for 18 months to get, I love it now just as much as I loved it 18 months ago. I got it half price, it's still very expensive, but it's such a timeless piece that I know I could wear it for 15, 20 years to come. Uh, um, similarly this this like I'm just totally in love I'm just totally in love with this thing this the cost per wear is just gonna go down in the next three months it's gonna go down to pences uh, per day that's per wear that's just how amazing this is like this watch I've had it for what uh, 15 months now and I've been wearing it almost every day and it looks amazing it helps with my focus I don't know if I explained the the story of how I got the watch and how I was in that very bad project and my DHD was acting up and I was looking at different things but anyway so the other few small pieces that are coming are things that are more useful for the home so I'm ordering some new uh, knives because I have these knives that I've had for many years um, but when my sister lived with me for a bit she she took one Actually, she took one of every one of my of my cutlery, and uh, she still uses them. I never asked for them back. But what I did with time is that every now and then, every few months, I would buy. Uh, I bought an extra set of, of of the cutlery that I have. So actually, for everything, I have enough. But for the special knives, I never bought a second set. I got this pillowcase uh, in gray. It's very light gray because most of my pillowcases are actually from when I lived in Belgium so they're about mm, seven yeah seven years old so I just thought you know I don't have uh, enough uh, pillowcases because usually uh, if they're in the wash then two of my pillows don't have a cover I thought I'd just have a few more so that I actually refresh my bedding so these two just arrived and I should have a couple more coming in, um, they're still not shipped. This is some very very old school packaging um, because it arrived in a wooden crate. So I will need to find a way to get to open these things. I like it because then it's probably not going to be super damaged, um, but we'll see. I managed to get it out. Right, so this is my box. Really like it. It's relatively heavy, but this is not meant to be a travel box, it's meant to be a trunk. Um, this is normally very very expensive so I could not afford it full price so I instead got the um, the model they had on display in the store which meant I could get a discount and I'm very happy about it because you know that is still the same function just that I didn't pay the full price I now need to figure out how to open it let's see oh wow 
all of this is leather and the interior is all suede and honestly this is really really well made it has a bit of wear and tear here on the sides but honestly I don't care you I could have also bought it vintage right so it comes with this little travel size so that you can put a few items in here this is a little case and this is actually because this is suede when you put it on it kind of almost feels magnetic but that's more the static there is no magnet it's just the static element of it um, this is uh, like a valet so if you were to to you could put things on your bedside um, you could take this when you travel and it would be your vid posh so effectively a trinket tray um, but yeah so that's the first part then it has these little compartments I don't know what this is it must be a cloth to polish things or it might be something they just put inside so you have different compartments different sizes I obviously don't have enough jewelry to fill this whole thing but I bought this for the long term this is for necklaces I have a transparent uh, uh, thing from Muji but I'm not I'm not uh, that is for every day this is for watches you get a roll like that and you put your watch and then it has a pillow and then you just wedge it inside Oh, which reminds me, I need to go wear my watch. I didn't wear it today. So yeah, very happy with this. Um, I will keep it for um, as long as possible. I think this is definitely an heirloom. I can see it aging very well. So maybe 30 years from now, it will be all beat up and tattered. But I, I, I can't wait for that to happen. This will be my safe box for my jewelry. It still has some plastic on the side on a couple bits, but uh, it's fine. I'll remove that. <laughs> the latest things I got are this paper towel holder, and that's because I just I just feel like. I have a lot of things in my kitchen counter and I'm really working on making sure that I have the least amount of clutter in there so I'm just going to hang it sideways I'll show you later once I do that then just a tea towel because you never have enough tea towels and I wanted to have something country themed I also like this very dark color uh, you know I like the green you would have noticed that I have that in my decor, I have that in my jewelry, I have that in my makeup, you know, you have a fox, an owl and things like that, so I'll just remove all the paper stuff and then uh, uh, put it in the washing machine and then just uh, a couple more pillowcases because I had run out of pillowcases. This one is meant to be very, very fancy, like it says it has a, a thousand thread count. I don't know whether I will see a difference, but anyway. I will wash these also before starting to use them and then the thing I'm most excited about is this is a tray so I've been living here for over three years and every like almost every night I think to myself I wish I had a tray and I never bought one then one day I finally bit the bullet so I'll show you this is a TV tray in that what it, it it has like a tray surface but it also has a pillow so that when I'm sat like eating or whatever I just put things in here and I don't have a tray straight to, to my um, uh, thighs I actually have a pillow and it's a green pillow so what's not to love about it in this way, I can actually just put things and, you know, watch um, Netflix or whatever. So I'm very excited about this. I don't know how to store it or where to store it. Maybe I will just store it in my living room. But it has like beans in it. So I'm very, very excited about it. So the last items I have in my massive January haul are these um, knives. So they just arrived. And then this thing is a worktop saver and it's effectively to cover my um, 
my gas stove. So let me show you here. So I have this gas stove. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess from this morning and a leftover reva. But I want something to cover this area. And I'm going to use that thing that I just bought. I just need to install it. I ended up putting this bag into its box because I feel like I really need to clean my kitchen before being able to put this and I haven't been able to do so. I always have stuff around here. So I just feel like I need to give my kitchen a good scrubbing and then it should be fine. And today I went to Flying Tiger, uh, which is a very inexpensive store and I got all of these things. First thing are these baskets and that's because in my uh, storage here I have all these type of linen stuff but I noticed that every time I want to use something I just give up because it's so crumpled and I don't know what's in the back etc etc so I just thought I need to organize this so that I'm able to use it um, and so I got these baskets i believe these were three pounds each they were available in black and in white the thing with flying tiger is that you don't know what you will find and uh, it's it's not a they don't really have a permanent collection so every time you go there you find certain things and if you find them and you like them you need to get them because you're not guaranteed to see it next week so I found these and I got them. I got also these replacement heads for washing a brush. So I have this washing a brush. It's also from them. Now, I got these because I don't know how long they would have them. There are periods like there would be a few months where they don't have them. And then suddenly you see them again in display. So I just thought to get the backups um, because, you know, this head needs to be replaced every now and then. Um, these are mixing bowls that I have that I've wanted to have for ages. So they have the the bottom is actually a non slip one. Uh, this is the first time I see them at Flying Tiger, so I think they just arrived this week. Now, I wanted to buy such mixing bowls for quite some time, and I had located them. I found a brand called the Breezer. but I think they were sixteen pound each, and that was a bit much for me. Um, so I ended up not buying them, but I do recognize that I, I need such mixing bowls, especially right now that I'm trying to, to do a lot of things properly. Um, and also I've been having a lot of, um, like, uh, uh, for breakfast and other things. And so I just ended up buying one, two, three, four, six of these. Um, so for, I got six and they have the same like bottom, the non-slip bottom, and it's for the price of two of the, the basal ones. And it's, it's like um, you can put it in the dishwasher and I just feel like it's really great for food prep because right now I'm using my Pyrex bowls that I've had for ages, I, I believe since Belgium. It's these two and I use them pretty much every day, but they're heavy and uh, I only have these two so it's not enough for what, what I want to do. Sorry about that was loud, meal prep. I also got a bigger version of that. I only got two of these because I don't think I will ever need more than that. That's mostly if I'm mixing like minced meat or something like that. But I believe um, two should be enough. And I like how cleanly they stack. And I also found this little colander. And while I was in the shop, I actually tried it. And it fits on top of this thing. So I just felt that it was a nice stacking situation here. So I'm going to remove the labels from all that stuff and, and, and make sure that it's clean before I store it away. Then I got this um, potato peeler because I do have one vegetable peeler somewhere here. Or maybe it was in the wash. No, it's here. I've also had this for ages, but I just feel like it's getting dull and I don't know how to sharpen it. So I thought to also have a backup just in case uh, this is not salvageable. And I do have in my uh, wish list to buy a proper, proper set of knives, but that will be for a few months down the road because I wanna do my research. Um, I've had these knives for, I think about three years now and they're getting very, very dull, but I don't just want to buy knives 
randomly I wanted to educate myself so I'm going to do my research and in a few months I'll show you which ones I got and then I got this baking cups they are silicone because I was thinking um, by the way for context we're about to go back to working from the office um, very soon um, like the restrictions in the UK will be lifted so already as of last week we are supposed to to work from from the office and um, and so like people are slowly going back but I don't want to lose some of the I wouldn't say good habits but like at least some of the things I gained in lockdown and I just feel that I need to start preparing things to eat I'm not going to go full meal prep mode but you know um, I like the fact that I have a couple go-to breakfasts. so I was just thinking I would probably need to prepare a few things that I can um, cook and have ready for busy days rather than go and buy things outside because everything is expensive and over the past two years uh, a lot of shops actually increased their prices so like to go get a very very basic lunch that I don't feel good about it costs me eight to nine pounds because I'm in a fancy part of town but anyway I got this exercise band I don't really it, need it right now but it was three pounds and again I know that they don't always have it actually this is the first time that I found the extra heavy one so I thought I would keep it for when I actually recover my fitness levels right now I wouldn't be able to use an extra heavy head uh, band I have a simpler one that is very light but by the time I feel better this will not be available a silly purchase was this googly eyes I still don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it made me smile and it was one pound. So I'm going to add it to my little party drawer. I have a drawer for all these stationary things, etc. And um, we'll see. But I, I, I kind of like it. Then this plinth kind of thing is um, for my bathroom. So for a few weeks now, I've been looking for something to hold my rings whenever I wash them because before I didn't wear rings but it's been now like close to a year that I like wearing rings and I just feel nervous every time I put them in the bathroom because I feel like they're going to go down the drain etc etc I was looking for a lot of different ring holders and I even went to anthropology but didn't find anything that I liked or at least at a price point that I liked so I just found this cone and I, I believe it was five pounds or something like this. It looks like a malachite, but obviously it's not. I don't know what it's made of. Let's look. It's probably. I mean, it's very. It's very heavy. But it doesn't say what it's made of. Anyway, it's quite heavy, so it's not something that you will just flip very quickly. So I'm just going to remove this and then put it in my bathroom. It's green, so it doesn't really match anything in my bathroom. But since I am working slowly on reducing the stuff that I have in there anyway, um, it won't clash. It will be just a pop of color. And the last thing I got is this sticky memos um, that have to-dos. Because I, I usually tend to write my to-do list anyway, and I thought this doesn't take much space. And I believe it was one or two pounds, so I'm just going to add it to my. I'm going to add it to my little uh, station here. I'll wedge it somewhere here. Ta-da! There you go. All right, so that was it. Uh, that is the end of this half hour super big haul I think it's the longest and biggest haul I have ever done on my channel but that's because I am going to stop doing anything buying anything for quite a few months except the things from my wish list I will film that video but um, you know the first item on my wish list might not be available for months so that's why and um, uh, one subscriber said that I should change my little alarm somewhere here because it keeps beeping I need to figure out how to do that. I'll need to Google it, but it's really, really annoying. I know. It always beeps. So, I have this here. I love it. But, I have all kinds of works in my kitchen. It's worth it. All of this is worth it.